Hi guys! In this week's tutorial I would like to show you how to do this intricate braid on yourself. I found a picture of it on Instagram and I'm going to post the link of that profile where I saw it in the description box below so you can check it out. Originally this was done on long hair by a hairstylist, but I think most hairstyles are doable on shorter hair as long as you make a few modifications. If you're familiar with French braids and waterfall braids, this is definitely something you should try. Let's go ahead and begin. You're going to start out by brushing through your hair and making sure there are no tangles. Then you'll part your hair from a little bit above your temples down the nape of your neck. And you're going to tie those two sections together so they're out of the way for now and release the rest of the hair. Now you pick up a triangular section on top of your head and you're going to start braiding a normal braid by crossing the outer strands over into the middle. But then after you complete the first stitch and you come to an outer strand that you would normally cross over into the middle, you're going to pin it away instead and replace it with a new section of hair that you pick up. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So instead of placing that outer strand over into the middle, you're going to pin it away and pick up a new section of hair to replace it. In other words, you're creating a two-side waterfall braid, which is basically like a French braid, but instead of crossing the outer strands over and incorporating hair into them, you're leaving them out of the braid, clipping them away, and then incorporating new hair into the braid. to repeat these steps until you get down to the nape of your neck. As you get down and your hair is shorter like mine, it might be trickier to pin the strands to the top of your head, so use more clips if you need to or pin them to the side. Just make sure you leave all the strands out that need to be left out and when you get down to the bottom finish the braid off like a normal three strand braid and tie it off with an elastic. Once I release the rest of the hair I like to secure all the waterfall pieces on the side I'm not going to braid with a clip so it's out of the way. Then I part a small section close to my ear and start braiding a French braid. When you incorporate hair from the top into the braid, you only incorporate the waterfall pieces. Make sure you incorporate the whole piece and only that piece and smooth it out because otherwise it's going to show that it's uneven. From the bottom you incorporate hair as usual. So once again, when you incorporate hair to the French braid from the top, you take only the waterfall piece. And from the bottom, you section off a bit of hair from the hairline, as you normally would, and incorporate it into the French braid. As you go down, it's very important that you incorporate all the waterfall pieces separately, one by one. Even if there is no more hair to add from the hairline, just don't incorporate hair from that side. Incorporate only the waterfall pieces until they're all in the braid. And then you can finish it off by braiding a normal three-strand braid and tying it off with an elastic. And do the exact same thing on the other side. Now if your hair is long, you can take these three braids and braid them all together into one braid to the bottom like it was done originally or you can do a ponytail or a bun just play around and find out what works for you now as my hair is shorter and layered and the braids get thin and wispy towards the end the only thing that makes sense for me is tucking them all under 
and pinning everything in place with bobby pins. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope you like the finished look. In which case I would really love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!